Hey, hey, bulls and bears. It is Thursday, November 11th, 2021. Thank you for joining me. I've got a lot of financial economic news to get into today. Another dose of economic reality. Let's go ahead and get started right here. And this was out of the Financial Times. The Fed's inflation miscalculations risk hurting the poor. Well, I would have to disagree. I wouldn't call this a miscalculation. This is all done 100% on purpose. This is the plan. Uh, this is what they completely intend on doing. They intend on keeping the markets propped up, keeping prices rising nonstop. There's no ceiling to how high the prices can go. Now, that doesn't mean that they're not going to pull the rug out at some point, but technically there's no ceiling on how high prices can go. And uh, that's pretty scary. And all the people that you know call this channel doom and gloom, they're starting to... Um, Get a real wake-up call now with the cost of living uh, and most of you that have been here for a few years as i've been putting out these reports almost daily know that i have called for rising prices not any sort of crash or deflationary event but rising prices unless unless there was something to throw a monkey wrench in the entire lending system uh, the credit system if there was a credit freeze war uh, some sort of major uh, outage blackouts you know, something like that, something catastrophic. Uh, otherwise, the markets are going to continue to rise. Prices are going to continue to rise. Uh, everything's being pushed in the wrong direction right now for most people. The top 10%, of course, they're doing just fine and they're doing better than ever. While most of the bottom 90%, not everybody, but most of the bottom 90% uh, continue to get further and further behind, further in debt, and uh, further behind the eight ball, so to speak. Uh, so no, it's not a mistake. It's not a miscalculation. This is all planned and they're executing their plan just fine. Uh, CNBC, the dollar hits 16 month high. Uh, JJ, you said the dollar was going to crash. You said the dollar was dead. No, no, no. Listen very carefully, please. This is important. The dollar, the dollar will be just fine when compared to other fiat currencies. That's what, that's what this is. They're comparing it to a basket of other fiat currencies all other currencies they can create out of thin air in digital form just type it up click of a mouse or trillions of dollars at the push of a button um, that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about the loss of your purchasing power much different much different um, yes the dollar can look strong and get stronger compared to other currencies uh, the dollar index that might increase, that might look stronger, but your purchasing power, when you go to the grocery store, when you fill up your gas tank, when you pay the rent, when you buy a home, when you pay your monthly insurance bill, your energy bill, all those other costs going higher, so the purchasing power of that dollar is going down. And some people would say it's crashing when you look at the uh, just the intensity of the rising prices that we're seeing here. And apparently, a lot of consumers are feeling the pinch. This article right here, FA.mag.com, that stands for financial, financial Advisor. Inflation pinch shoppers are turning to discount stores ahead of the holidays. The stores that are seeing huge upticks in spending, and it's a 65% increase compared to just a couple years ago. Um, the stores that are seeing this big increase, Dollar Tree and Five Below. I'm not sure if you have a Five Below in your area, uh, but they have them here, out here in California. And everything is five dollars or less. So why are we seeing such a big uptick at uh, people shopping at these discount stores? I think we know the reason. I think people uh, they're strapped. A lot of people are strapped. You see it with the credit card debts rising. Uh, all sort of debt is rising, and uh, people are looking to get uh, more bang for their buck, so to speak, at some of these discount stores. Uh, also, the cost of Thanksgiving dinner is a lot higher than it was in previous years. We just bought a prepaid turkey dinner, or not prepaid, pre-made turkey dinner at this store called Sprouts. It's like a health food store, but they have a deli and they have these dinners that they make. It's like uh, got a big turkey. It's got all the sides and stuff like that. And if I'm not mistaken, it's about $49, but this year... It was a lot higher for the same meal that we get. This is the family meal. It was closer to eighty dollars, eighty dollars for a dinner, a turkey Thanksgiving turkey dinner, eighty dollars. 
And this article lays it out pretty good. This is CBS Boston. It's been crazy. Turkey shortages, supply chain issues impacting Thanksgiving meals. And yes, farmers are feeling the pinch. Uh, tractors, farm equipment, um, parts for tractors, all going up. Fertilizer, in, in some cases, shortages, prices going up. Water shortages, especially out west, prices going up. Uh, the cost of owning and operating a farm going up. Higher insurance costs. And, uh, you know, this is what we get. This is what we get for unlimited money printing. All the people that didn't want to pay attention to the financial system, they said the national debt didn't matter. They said the spending didn't matter. They said all these rescue programs didn't matter. They were actually good, you know, good things. All the spending was good. No problem. It doesn't affect me, right? I heard that from a lot of people, but a lot of those same people now, and even friends of mine, are, uh, are seeing it. They're seeing it every day in their wallets and when they fill up the gas tank. And, uh, you know, people are finally waking up to what's happening and you know we've been predicting this for many many years and uh, you know this is just the beginning this is just the beginning in my opinion things are going to get much much worse um, if I had to put an estimate on it I'd say we're in the the second inning of a nine inning ball game in the early stages of this situation and uh, sadly it looks like nothing's being done to really change the direction that we're headed in uh, what's that going to be? More debt, more higher uh, rising prices, more job losses, uh, more fake numbers coming out of the uh, the manipulators. You know, they're telling us that the unemployment rate is below 5%, but we really know it's about 25% with 100 plus million people out of the labor force. And yes, they're going to keep the markets propped up. Take a look at this. Mortgage rates plunge again, dipping back below 3%. So the Fed they're buying everything and they can keep these rates low. They can keep the home uh, housing market propped up. They can keep home prices propped up. All you have to do is just promise the banks never ending liquidity. They're always going to buy uh, bonds. are going to take the mortgage backed securities away from the banks. Therefore, the banks can keep loaning out bigger and bigger, bigger mortgages. As long as there's a sucker willing to borrow the money, or maybe they're not a sucker. Maybe they're smart, right? If home prices never go down, then even if you buy today, uh, you're smart. Uh, it's just the way it is. So if you're uh, jumping in the market expecting home prices to go up forever, then it uh, doesn't matter what you pay, right? If home prices are never going to come down, just pay whatever. Get get the biggest loan. Uh, or is there going to be a reckoning? Is there going to be you know, a sad situation or maybe a good situation, depending on what side of the fence you're on, where this entire system freezes up and comes to a screeching halt and uh you know what's it going to be please let me know down in comments otherwise hold on to your wallets you know they're going to come come after all of us they're going to come after the working class telling us that we have to pay for this and i uh i've said this before i feel most sorry for the younger people in this country uh they get out of school and uh they're already buried in debt especially if they go to college most of them buried in debt uh they can have a hard time buying a home uh, so many millennials living at home now. We looked at a study. It was about 50% of millennials living at home. Uh, people are having a tough time, and I feel really sorry for the people that haven't even uh, got out into the working force yet because by the time they get there, who knows what this is going to look like. It's a nightmare uh, already for so many people uh, living on shoestring budgets. And uh, just wait until they start taking away those things that were promised to you. They're going to take your social security away. They're going to start pulling back on the benefits or they're going to make you jump through a bunch of hoops in order to continue to get those benefits. Um, I think most of you know what types of things um, they've got in store. Um, prepare folks. It's going to get nasty. It's going to get ugly. Uh, it's going to get dangerous. And, uh, you know, I have fun on this channel. Sometimes I like to joke around. We play outro music and, you know, no one wants to... Um, live in a uh, state of fear or panic, but uh, definitely be very cautious about what's happening. Be cautious about your spending. You know, unless you're just raking it in these markets right now, uh, now is not a time to be wasting money in my opinion, but hey, that's just me. Thanks for watching and supporting everybody. Stay well, stay safe, keep stacking. Bye for now. See you next time. Peace.